Good Saturday morning to you. Well, Pooch is out in the shop this morning. He's got transfers to cut. He got transfers to cut and he's got shirts to press. So I figured I'd get y'all in here real quick. So you'll just see the process that Pooch is going through this morning. I'm having to cut and trim these transfers down because I have multiple transfers on this one sheet of paper. But what I'm doing is I'm splitting them in half. As you can tell, that's one transfer. This is another transfer. And these two little boxes at the bottom are two other transfers. So as you could probably guess, that, that cross on the front, that square on the back, as well as this iron sharpens iron on the front and one of these other squares on the back. Two sets of shirts. But this is the usual process. You got to cut them down so you can get ready to press on those shirts. Now mind you, I'm doing it quick right now. And once I get through doing these, I will break out this here cutter and I'll trim them down even more. So um, first things first, and that's to get these trimmed out. Yes, sir. Alrighty. Now that I've got those trimmed down into two pieces, I've got to cut these back into the little spots that we are going to be using these for. I like trimming up all the ex excess, you know, just to get it out of the way. It helps uh, make centering this stuff a lot easier on, on the shirts and just works out better. I like it to be a clean cut and it does make it a lot easier when trimming this stuff up and placing it on the shirts. But as you could tell, I'm cutting them down. I got my two little squares. Those are done. I got my iron, sharpens iron here. Trimming it up just a bit to get, what was that? <laughs> iron sharpens iron. And then of course, we've got our cross. I'm gonna trim it back get it into the area that I like it, where I need it, excess off. And um, it'll be so much easier. And all of them are done on these last few. But there you go as well. Cut back and it moves pretty quick too actually after you trim them all down to fit within this cutter. I wish I had a bigger cutter sometimes, but oh well, use what I got. Don't you use it's, the paper cutter? I do sometimes. This depends on what size, but it's easier to sit here and be precise if I don't screw something up. I like to use the paper cutter. I need to get the bigger one, but I like using it to um, cut multiples at once rather than one at a time, like I did all of these one at a time. About done with all this right here. And then of course, be hammering down hammering down on the pressing. Pretty's already sampled one. She's got it done. And it looked pretty good too. All right, there we go. We got all of those done. So now we'll be getting after pressing shirts. Yes, sir.
this stuff up different day different project and today pooch has got to wrap up and finish up some caps that he's got to print or press and what i'll be pressing today are some 
Richardson, 115s. That's a navy colored blue with a khaki color. And I'm going to be pressing these caps with a faux suede leather patch. And that leather patch looks something like that. So I'm going to be placing these here patches on these here caps and probably somewhere around like so. If y'all can see that, probably see it there, but it's gonna be a side side of a six panel. I'm gonna patch it that side. And these match pretty good. That's a good color. So anyway, I got 24 of these things to do and it won't take long. The press is heated up. So um, let's get after it so we can call her done. Yes, sir. Like I said, I got my hats ready to go. I've got my patches ready to go. I'm going to be using the uh, Hottronics uh, 360 IQ hat press. This is a cool hat press because it's a lower platen that's heated and an upper platen that's heated. It's a really good machine here. You can print and custom print and patch press on a lot of different um, uh, articles, items with this thing. Um, it's a very good press. Love this thing. I've pressed quite a few hats with it. And so um, it won't take long at all. Upper platen heat is 280. Lower platen is 322. And this will run about anywhere from 15 to 20 seconds. So... Um, Anyway, let's get started so we can um, finish this up. Yes, sir. Well, we got her done, folks. We knocked out 24 hats and actually... Actually, yeah, 24. I made one for Sunny, and I made one for Pretty. So, um, of course, y'all saw me making them. Richardson 115s. These are low-profile trucker six panels with the uh, suede leather etched patch. And I think Pretty will be happy to get herself one. Sunny liked his, too. And... But I'm glad that's done. So now we get to wait and see what comes up next. But it's Tuesday night. I'm going to try to knock this video out so I can get it up for Wednesday morning. And we'll see what happens after that. Of course, you folks know Pretty and Pooch. Well, let me, let me rephrase that. Pretty's going to be busy tomorrow night, which is Framley night, Wednesday night, 7 p.m. That's normally Pretty and Pooch full-blown country it'll probably just be full-blown country since pretty will be unavailable but I got a couple of auctions coming up with me I think Sonny's gonna join me who's my son Tristan and there's a possibility Justin might even chime in with me so um, y'all be sure and tune in um, you probably won't see this video till in the morning so y'all be sure and tune in tonight Wednesday night family night uh, we got 4 p.m. is Mama V, or 5 p.m. Mama V, Possum Run Homestead, 6 p.m. Mike and Sid, 3 Mississippi, and then 7 p.m., of course, it's full-blown country, pretty and pooch, but probably going to be pooch and Sonny, who's my son, Tristan, and uh, Justin, back road freedom, probably going to join me, and then at 8 p.m., we have Mike and Terry, MT Homestead, and then following them up at 9 p.m. will be Brian from the Vineyard Farmhouse. And then, of course, at 10 p.m., we're going to wrap it up with Peter from Old Man, Old Man King Homestead. Boy, I'm all kinds of tongue-tied. Not, not even got my calm down in my lip. But anyway, I got to get this thing produced, uploaded, show up for you guys tomorrow. And um, we'll see y'all tomorrow night. But everybody have themselves a good evening.
tomorrow is hump day, which normally when I show up for work, I got a particular nurse that always says, Mike, 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 do you know what day it is? And I'll go, yee, 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 it's hump day. Anyway, you folks have yourselves a good night. And remember, everybody needs a friend named Pooch, and they call me Pooch. Yes, sir.